Hey, River Slug Outdoors here. Just wanted to give a quick review of uh, camping, backpacking on the Potawatomi Trail uh, around Pinckney Recreation Area. Um, this is the Blind Lake Campground. It took me about, probably about three hours to get here, maybe a little longer. I took a break. Um, I took the wrong loop in the beginning and that kind of set me back. I probably went like 10 miles total. Um, just have a look at the campsite here. So this is campsite number three. It's the only one on the lake, it looks like. There's some down there. And uh, nobody's here, which is cool. It's Thursday night. Um, so yeah, it took me about, you know, three, maybe four hours with a long break. I'm not a big backpacker. I just wanted to, you know, start training, maybe do some more. Um, here's a couple sites up here that have a little more privacy, sites one and two. Then on the other side, behind me at the end, sites nine and 10 seem to have a little more privacy. Um, but yeah, it was pretty difficult. Uh, thought I was gonna die. I have about 40 pound pack and uh, it's about 95 degrees, not in the best of shape either. So it was kind of difficult, but it was not, you know, not too hard. Um, Map is a little bit hard to follow. Um, had some trouble with that, truthfully. I actually had to ask somebody. Uh, there's a lot of mountain bikers, and they go the opposite direction of hikers. So I flagged one down and kind of asked if I was going in the right direction. And because uh, it seemed like it was taking me a very long time to get to the campground. Um, anyway, this is hiking only. It's, uh, I think if you don't screw up like I did, it's only like seven miles. And I believe tomorrow on the way back is like five. I'm not sure, though. There's a couple of different routes you can take. Um, so, yeah. And then on the map, there's, you know, they show that there's water pumps in a couple areas that aren't there. So don't rely on that. There is a water pump, at least right now there is a working pump um, at the campsite, at the campground. And then there is also like a pit toilet. Um so yeah, that's about it. This one's kind of cool because you got the beach right here. The only problem is um, there seems to be a lot of boat traffic and they just kind of zoom by and people are like staring at me because I'm kind of exposed here. So like I said, I might sh do one of these up here for a little more privacy. Sites one or two or nine or ten. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's a nice little getaway. It's only about an hour from uh, Detroit area. So it's not bad at all, and you get a little, you know, backpacking in the woods. Nice little trip.